all get together and we're gonna go shopping! <laughs> Is there any other way to start this video truly? Welcome to another moment on the Malcolm Sories channel, which makes me Malcolm Sories. If you're someone who's into fashion, style, beauty, entertainment, and or pop culture, subscribe to the channel and become a part of the moment because I have a little bit of everything here. I'm like the hometown buffet of content creation. Even though winter is technically on its way out, that might be when you could get a really good deal on a good solid winter coat. I live in the Northeast United States, so winter is kind of tricky. Winter is coming. I've done a video like this before where I was kind of like perusing online for some new items for 2021. You know, I'm one of the girls who like to add it to cart. Add to cart is my love language. I just want more. We're gonna have a really fun little online shopping session here, so let's get started. I'm gonna start here on Zara, which I feel like is kind of the motherboard. I've seen this coat before, the embroidered oversized coat. This is something, look at this forest green, like this is beautiful. This is something that would absolutely pique my interest. Now this price point does not pique my interest. I love this green. I would get this in the green or the black. I think the embroidery on the shoulder is just super unique. I also love double-breasted. Double-breasted coats are just so flattering to me, really on any body type. I love a long double-breasted coat. Made of a wool blend fabric. We love that. Okay, so 42% here. That's not bad. I'm not really like a mathematical, numerical type of person when I'm shopping. I think a top priority for winter coats is warmth. Um, this pink is really beautiful. Long buttoned coat, $70. I'm assuming that this coat is probably just not as heavy. See, now 100% polyester. This is probably not as much of a durable coat, but I just love this pink. I think that color is really beautiful. Double breasted wool blend coat, 200. I would prefer something longer, honestly, but I love the texture of coats like these. Boucle really textured type of fabric. It just looks warm to me. I also really like this white like ivory moment. Really cute. I enjoy this a lot. See, now I love this as well. A good belted wool blend coat with a faux fur trim. I'm assuming this is faux fur. Real fur is totally out right now. 75% um, wool, so you're actually getting like a really good durable quality coat. 250. Yeah, see, that's not in my budget, girl. I can't be doing that right now, but that's a fabulous coat. This is actually the exact winter coat that I want. This is giving me that teddy coat trend. I actually love this chocolate brown color as well. This I'm probably gonna come back to. 150, oh, they're listing this as gray. Okay, so it's a charcoal gray. It's, it's giving me brown, but I guess it's gray. Let me know in the comments if you think this coat is brown or gray because sometimes I think I might be going colorblind. This is 100% polyester. It may not be the warmest coat in the world, but it's just so heavy and I love a good heavy double-breasted long coat. I don't have any teddy coats and I just really enjoy the girls pumping in the streets with their teddy coats and their turtlenecks. Obviously we started in the women's category here. I am gonna get to the men's section if you just hold out for a little bit longer. 150 is not a bad price to me for this, for this coat. We're gonna bookmark that just for reference. This is really pretty, the Rose Garden Coat Limited Edition, $400. Not even gonna click on that one, but it's a very beautiful coat. Love this, soft, oversized. Anything oversized to me is probably gonna work. <laughs> I'm just really into everything oversized right now, and this like drop shoulder on the coat, it's still double-breasted. Yeah, see, it's 100% polyester. It's probably not the warmest like winter coat in the world, but the fact that it's oversized means that it's probably super comfortable. Like, I feel like I could sleep in this. It's giving blanket. Okay, so now I wanna go to the men's section and just see, oh wait, let's see what's on sale here. Oh, no coats on sale. Isn't that a shame? We don't conform to typical gender standards here on my channel, so we are gonna check out both sides. At Zara, in terms of coats, I definitely usually find more interesting pieces in the women's section, but it, you just, you gotta check. I didn't look for it, but I checked. You checked. 
See, this is a good double-breasted coat. I need a good, like, charcoal coat, 250. I also wish that this was longer. I'm not sure, you know, how tall this young man is, but I'm probably taller. Ooh, see, now I would love a double-breasted plaid coat. I kind of have a double-breasted plaid coat already, and I think it's from Zara. But it's years old. I've had it for a while, and I just love the plaid look. If you're not into patterns, plaid is something to kind of easily adjust to, and it never goes out of style. Mm, I'm not really into, like, the parka situation. I'm definitely more of, like, a trench coat, pea coat, overcoat. Okay, that seems like it's it for Zara, so we're gonna switch gears over to Misguided. See, right away, 80% off everything. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now Misguided is only women's. I'm just gonna start in long coats because I feel like that's probably my biggest deal breaker. Oh my, the vinyl trench coat. I'm gonna start with this faux Mongolian moment. This is a fabulous coat. It looks pretty good. Is it gonna be as fabulous in person as it is on here? You know what I mean? Like buying it online versus when it comes in person. It definitely catches my eye, but I'm not sure. Now, this vinyl trench coat situation. Can we discuss? I'm not really crazy about the fur trim on here. Yeah, they kind of lost me with that. See, now this interests me as well, $52? Oh, see, but my size isn't on here. I don't mind this green either. What is the lining giving? I enjoy this coat very much. You know what I do find interesting is the maxi puffer coats. I think these are so cool. It's very much like Rihanna. <laughs> Could it be the coat down to $70? Fabulous. Ooh, there's a lot of maxi puffers going on. See, like even the camo oversized puffer actually interests me. I wish that this had a hood though. Such a good color scheme, so easy to style with any outfit. This is a really cute coat. The puffers are making the moments right now. Look at this plum color, that looks interesting. Ooh. Now I didn't like the faux fur trim on the black one that we saw before, but I'm enjoying this. To be honest, this is a fall coat. This is not a winter coat. This is not gonna keep me warm. I'm gonna be freezing, but I'm gonna look fabulous. It's literally making my mouth water because I'm thinking of like a Milky Way. Oh, I love that color. Look at this balloon sleeve trench coat. This is interesting. This is actually everything. Again, definitely giving fall coat though. So far, Misguided is really hitting with the coats, you guys. Gosh, the khaki trench coat though. This is like the quintessential coat. The real fantasy is being able to wear a trench coat, probably in a color like this, with nothing underneath and some patent leather thigh high boots. Meeting, you know, a new gentleman at the hotel bar. Like, it's just the fantasy. Fashion creates the fantasy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna come back up here and check out the teddy coats. Yeah, see, like, a classic tan teddy coat. That's really what I need. I could definitely get the 14. I want something double-breasted, though. All right, well, I think that was a pretty good run for Misguided. You know what I really want? Yo, see what I, want. I want a red and black plaid coat. Shop style is good because this is a site that will actually show you different options from a variety of websites. They're selling the couples on Amazon? Wow. This is a fabulous coat, but you know, the expensive taste of it all, like, ideally it would be a McQueen red and black double-breasted coat, much like so. Look at the black pit. This is a fabulous coat. <laughs> oh, can you pay my bills? Jason Wu, this is a fabulous coat. I just love plaid on a coat. Um, while we're here on Saks, let's see. You know, I'm going right to sale. Ooh. And Saison. Has anybody heard of this brand? If you have, leave a comment down below. 
Oh my gosh, it has like a plaid with a hound's tooth mixed in. Yeah, no, this is fabulous. Not a huge markdown, but it's still a good price, 123. I'm not familiar with this brand, but I'd like to get familiar with that coat. These oversized like duvet puffer coats. It's another one of those just like really cool looking coats. I actually love this eggshell white as well. It's like, you know, I might be going to the Vail for a skiing trip over the weekend, or I might be going to a dive bar on the corner with my girlfriends to dance on top of tables and act a fool. It's very versatile. That's really what I enjoy about this. You can be Rihanna or you can be Black China. <laughs> Pick one or forever hold your peace. Laquan Smith. Can we take a break from the winter coat moment and get into this biker jacket? Because this markdown is insane. And they have my size. Can you imagine? Ooh, I gotta get, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta go off. I can't. You need to leave. Get out! I was actually most impressed, I think, in terms of quality and style, probably by Zara, but Misguided has the price points. I know some of my fashion girls are watching and I need to know your opinions, so do not leave the video without leaving a comment. Give the video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. 